<laughs> Someone newbie that's detailing out of their car, how would they invest their money to, to level up? So the channel's all about spontaneity. Levette just pulled up as an avid fan of Artisan and he's got some questions to ask me, so I'm gonna do my best to answer them. Hopefully it helps not only him, but you guys who are watching. How are you doing guys? I'm Levette from Strong Body Clears. So the first question I got to ask you is, when, first of all, how did you get into the business? How did I get into the business? So it stems from me working in manufacturing. I used to work for Jaguar Land Rover, for those who, who don't know. Um, and obviously I was already in the car space. I came across some like, some business mentors via YouTube. Um, because I used to read the newspaper a lot and I used to like be consumed in media a lot like everybody else and then I come across something that changed my life which was a footballer dying on the pitch yeah, yeah. Um, at the World Cup and when I saw it I was like this just didn't sit right with me so then I got a bit frustrated with the media and thought okay let me start delving my time into something else just watching YouTube like everybody else and then DMO, prime example, one of my good mates I used to see him driving around yeah. London seeming to not do anything so I thought, yo, I want to have a piece of that life so then I started looking into like business and whatnot short story, I left Jaguar Cars in 2015 bought a franchise that didn't go to plan learned from the franchise of what not to do and I thought, okay, let me start my own business and it started Artisan so that was how I got into the business first step was consuming content that related to something that I was passionate about and then the second step was taking the step second question I want to ask you is when you did leave the business of Land Rover, was it? Yes. When you did leave that business and you were starting off your business, how did you gain customers? First thing on them, friends and family. Everybody knows somebody. Rather than look at, okay, I don't know that guy, I don't know that guy, I don't know anyone with any wealth. What do I know? Well, I know Will, I know Levette, I know Jason, I know whoever. And then obviously what I would do, I'd do my friend's car, I'd do the best job I could, I'd take loads of pictures and then I'd put it out to the internet. And then eventually what would happen, the network would just grow five friends from somebody I know and then be like yo I've got a first customer who, who I don't know or someone's gone on the website and then you know so the first point of call start with friends and family and then just grow from that network ask them if they know anybody you know and then it is a long burn but yes, yes, yes. while you're doing all of those people you're you're better in your skill set so when you do come to a customer who doesn't know you they're happy to pay the money because you know exactly how good you are in terms of branding I see you've got your hat you've got merchandise would you recommend a detailer every detail has their own branding to get more pay let's just say get more, big, pay. more pay as in like because they're a big brand apart, apart from the job they do Correct. I can only talk for who I am as a person so I just think very lateral so okay if I'm starting a business and I'm going to spend money. Money is a byproduct, so I go and do a job, I get paid from the job. Now the question is, what do I do with my money? It's not the money I make, it's what I do with the money I make. So for me, it's like, okay, I can invest into everyone else's brand, I can keep investing into myself. So it makes more sense for me personally to go and buy something that I can wear because I, I, I benefit from it. So for every other detailer, if they believe that they truly are part of the business that they started, but then yes, by all means, build a brand around the business but if your core value is just like I'm doing this business to make money and my my core is going on holiday and all those things use your money to do that you know what I mean so yes and no it all depends on the person there's no right or wrong answer I think if you do like dressing yeah yeah it makes sense you know what I mean it's a privilege seeing justice in the flesh because his information makes me know I'm in good hands and it's like I'm just tweaking my little mistakes here and there just by watching him and gaining knowledge so that's what made me come down to see Justin. What I want to do first is dry the glass because we'll get a lot of watermarks if we don't try and dry that first. Two reasons why I've moved the car. One, so when I go over the wheels, I know that I've cleaned them a bit efficiently. Two, the trees doing my bloody onion. <laughs> and three, because it's white. Obviously, I want the sun to help dry the car a little bit quicker. Save my towel getting as much. If it was a black car, I'd be the opposite in the shade. But plus, it's good advertising for everyone who drives past it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to wipe down the door shuts, tyres, air freshener, and then that's it, man. The car's good to go. The one thing I used to hate when I first started out was not doing something, knowing that I should have done, and then getting a call saying, oh, you didn't do this, and I'm thinking, <sighs> I know what you're saying. You know. But now I'm like, I'm not going into a job unless I'm going to feel happy. If I'm not going to feel happy, I'm not taking the work on. You know, it's hard, but I'd feel better knowing, you know what, I'd rather not go into this relationship knowing I'm not going to deliver. You know. We're getting smeary windscreen. 
one trick, fold your cloth, as someone else has once said. Fold your cloth into multiple sections. If you're doing the interior of the glass, I generally spray it onto the cloth. And uh, the reason why is because if you spray it directly onto the glass itself, the mist of the glass cleaner will go into the other areas and when it dries in it doesn't look very pretty. Spray a little bit onto the cloth, wipe in one direction, go outside and then have a look. And obviously if you're seeing me smears in a horizontal direction or a, land or a vertical direction, you'll know if it's the inside or outside of the glass. So if I'm doing the inside, I might do an up and down motion. And if I'm doing the outside, I do a cross. So when I look in the sunlight and I get in a smear in the light, I'll know exactly if it's inside or out. Then what I'll do is go back inside, use a dry part of the cloth and then wipe wherever the smears yeah. are. Easy. And another tip, if you find that doesn't work, sometimes you might find there's contamination on the glass and that contamination could just be grease. So resorting back to when you're doing the interior, just for peace of mind, just steam clean the glass, put a, a rag on the steamer and steam clean the glass to strip all of that grease off. So then when you do come to use your glass cleaner, the glass is actually clean, the glass is not moving the, the contamination around. But again, steam, it kills everything. So if you put it on the right cloth and steam it, you won't even need to use your glass cleaner, it'll, it'll be crystal clear. and also have a low mode as well so when you're driving around you want to be more sporty the center of gravity is better so the car doesn't roll but yeah when you're detailing a Range Rover or you wanting to clean it just lift it up into the off-road height because then it's easier to flush the arch little tip for you you see how long it takes really what I'm going to do is drive it around the corner to the Romanian car wash and get it done for a tenner <laughs> It is 7.58 on a Monday. Um, there's not a lot of content directly in proportion to how to do the car. There is a few nuggets in there that hopefully help you. There is a lot of business tips, but the moral of this story is relationships. We've had, what, two hours, nearly two and a half hours worth of uh, relationship with the client, understanding who he is as a person and who we are as a business and why you made the choices to, to use us. But one little nugget I want to give to all you guys, if you want to get into the situation that I am in, make sure you do those things. Spend time with your client, make them understand who you are, what your visions are, where you want to be in the future and understand who they are because relationships are the key to success. All I want to say is thanks for watching the video. If you like the content, smash the like button, share it, subscribe to the channel, but you know the matter, whatever you do, do it well. <laughs>